Hey, how's it going? It's Craig on the garage, and today we're looking at how we convert this into this. Let's take a look. Okay, so I'm out in the garage, and we've got a Nintendo Game Boy DMG Play It Loud. We're going to mod this into something pretty special. We're going to go the whole hog on this, give it a refurb, clean it all up, and then put some new kit in there, put it in a new shell, and get it to its new owner. So I've been working with a guy that has asked for this for a while and it's Addy Sneaker Freak. Have a look at his accounts down below. It doesn't do too much on YouTube anymore, but have a look at his Instagram. The guy has got attention to style and detail, so when he asked me to do a, a Game Boy for him, I knew it was going to be a bit of a challenge, and we worked back and forth. We found the right case for him, the right mods, and I think this is going to be the Game Boy that lasts him, hopefully, many years to come. So let's get on with the build. I think I'm going to test this one out. We're going to do the capacitors. We're going to do a screen mod, speaker, shell, everything you name it is going to be done so this is going to be a fully kitted out modern version of a dmg game boy we'll even get a multi cart in the back of it once we're finished as well so you won't have to do another thing to this once it's done so hopefully he'll be happy with the, the final result the shell that he's picked is a little bit of a tricky one um it's the transparent clear not the frosted the clear clear one and if you've ever done a game boy mod in the past and put a new lcd screen in there the ips screens you have to cut posts and clear transparent perspex is just an absolute nightmare when you're cutting it so wish me luck on that one let me get on with it i will do a little bit of an update in a bit and then i'm going to drop it off in person to to addy sneaker freak probably in somewhere like arcade archives or the retro man cave just to drop it off to him because i think it, what the final version of this is going to need hand delivery rather than trust it with royal mail or anyone else anyway so let's get on with it and i'll catch you in a sec cool Another bit of kit that I've bought is a new TS100 soldering iron. You can see it heating up at the moment. Um, absolutely love this. This has got more processor power than a, <laughs> most retro consoles. I think even up to like a PlayStation or something. It's got a accelerometer in there. It's got custom firmware that you can put on there. I haven't put anything on it differently at the moment, but this is a lovely little uh, soldering iron. It, it feels so nice in the hand. You can power it obviously off a a cable in the house but you can also power it off batteries and things so if you're out and about it takes anything from 12 point to 24 volts 17 to 65 watts so any little power supply that you've got that you can take out with you so a lot of people use them with drone batteries and things you can get little connectors on there you can use drill batteries so if you're out and about soldering you can take this out with you and solder and it feels so nice it's such a nice little soldering iron as well so I'm gonna use this replace all the caps on this then we'll put it back together quickly just to test it all, make sure it's all working once the caps are done. Then we'll get on to doing the, the screen replacement after that. Cool. Okay, so let's move this board aside. Um, 
I've done everything I want to do on there now. It's nice and clean. All the caps are replaced. If it's in the shell, all good. Um, I've not done any audio mods. If you know of any audio mods that you think would be worthwhile doing, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm not a massive audio mod fan for the Game Boy uh, with the audio outs and everything else because I think it spoils the shell, but I know some people do use it for MIDI editing and things like that. Um, but for this shell, I don't think it's worth it. I think this is going to look beautiful as it is. So we've gone for a total translucent case. This is going to be absolutely stunning. It's probably going to be a nightmare to work on because I'm going to get fingerprints all over it. Um, but I might stick some gloves on in a second just so I can keep it as clean as possible when I'm working on it. Um, yeah, it's gonna be really nice, but let's show you in the packet what it looks like so far. Look at that. Translucent see-through case for the Game Boy. We're not gonna use this uh, screen surround, we're gonna use the one that comes with the IPS screen. So let's put that aside. We've got two button options, or three button options, because one came with the case as well. So the case, that's got all the screws and it's got the uh, shielding and everything else in there, so we'll use some of those. We've got a new rubber set with clear buttons, because work with a clear case. Um, and then we've got two button options. So we ordered two just to give it a, a bit of a, a flavor. So we've got a gray, whether we want to use the gray ones or whether we want to go translucent. So I'm going to go translucent on the on the build. We could swap it over to gray in the future if we want to, but I think going all clear is going to absolutely look amazing in here. So I'm going to use those. We'll put these other ones aside. It's not bad having extra spare buttons because I think they were like an extra pound probably with postage from China. So it's worth ordering them in anyway. We've got a funny playing. I didn't order this, but this came with the screen by the look of it. So funny playing speaker. And it's going to look absolutely amazing because it's a nice clear speaker as well. Okay, so we've gone with the funny playing IPS screen. This is going to be really nice in there. Uh, slightly bigger than the standard screen as well. Um, but this is the, the replacement board. So this has got your controls on the back of it. And then your inputs for both your screen and your Game Boy here. This one hasn't got a full spin jog wheel. It's got a, an up and down and then a press button one. Really nice. We'll see how that fits into this case when, we, when we're when we fitting in a second. So that's the, the main board. We've got the IPS screen. Slightly bigger as I said. So we're going to have a look at how that looks in a bit once we've fitted it. we got the surround on there. So let's compare those quickly. So we've got a screen surround and this is the difference between the two screens. You can see there's a slight difference in the height and the width. Only a couple of mil by the look of it. Not huge, but I think it'll look really nice when it's in there. So we'll put that other one aside. And we'll use the one that came with the IPS screen. Uh, we've got a self-adhesive pad, a ribbon cable, and a fitting mount. A translucent again, all winning. Uh, so it's gonna look really good in here. So it's the old black gloves on. I don't want to get fingerprints in the inside of this and then it look terrible so let's get building on this and then I'll come back to you in a second. Cool. Pretty much everything is 
together now. Um, so what have we done all together? We've done the Funny Play and IPS screen, Translucent Shell, Translucent Buttons, uh, Funny Play and Speaker, Recapped It, uh, Clean Juice Battery, Drilled that on the back, that's looking really nice. I drilled a little bit more off camera just to clean it up a little bit with that Dremel. Um, I've got a sticker for the serial number here, but I think I'll let Steve decide whether he wants that on there or not. Only final thing to put in is one of these, and this is absolutely amazing. I'm actually considering whether I want to sell off my Game Boy Loose Cart collection because this is so easy. You put this in and you've got every single ROM you want on there. And, um, I think it came with a 16 gig SD card, which is way over the top of what you need. I put um, a load of ROMs on here just to test it out, and it's working great. And of course, he's only gone and bought the translucent version, <laughs> which is amazing. It comes with a sticker. I don't think we'll put the sticker on there. There's the serial sticker as well for the case, so we'll leave them aside. Let, let them decide whether they want that on there or not. But this looks absolutely amazing. Look at that. Game Boy clear case and a clear shell. How stunning is that? So let's power them on. I'll go through some of the screen settings in a sec as well. Let me zoom in. So, okay, so I booted into the DMG test setup. So this is basically what technicians used to use back in the day, 1990 Nintendo. So this allowed me to show you some of the screen features and everything else. This has got a up down uh, jog wheel on here rather than a full rotate. Um, so if I go up and down through it now, I can change the brightness of the screen. So if I turn it right down, you can see how dull it gets. Back without any backlight and then all the way up and, and turns the, the backlight all the way on. Uh, the LEDs all the way on, that looks really nice. Um, obviously that'll affect your battery life and everything else, but we've got the, the clean juice on here, so which is gonna last us anyway. Um, press it in, so you press it in and then you can scroll through the colors really nice funny playing screens are really good the quality on the screen is lovely as well and it's slightly bigger which is always a bonus um, so you can go through all the colors there's loads of color options in there I'll just pick one for now let's go into it and put the brightness up a little bit what colors should we go up with let's go with the standard looking DMG type color Put the brightness up a little bit and then let's go through the screen test and everything so we'll do the auto test it goes through uh screen testing button testing and sound testing just to see how it all goes so ram test is passed it's going to do a screen test looking nice and crisp no dead pixels or anything in there if you see any marks it's probably because it's still got this plastic on the top of it button test really nice yeah, that scrolls nice. Sound testing. There we go. So this passes for me. I think it looks really good. Um, yeah, really nice screen, really nice setup now. I think that's everything in there. I'll play on the game now just to give it a good game test. Uh, other than that, I think this is ready to go. Okay, so all done. Have a look at that. It's going to show up terrible in the lighting and everything, but I'll do some close-up shots in a, in a second. And it's absolutely stunning. I'm really pleased with how those posts came out. They were an absolute nightmare. Used a lot of Novos 1, 2, and 3, cleaning it out. Using a lot, I must have used about 20 cotton buds, the Dremel, uh, everything else in there. So, But it's all up and running. It's looking absolutely stunning. Let me switch it on a second for you. Um, what a beautiful screen. Really nice. The funny playing ones I've never worked with before, but it's an absolutely stunning screen. Uh, the easy flash card's really good as well. Uh, the clear speaker, I think, just really adds some detail to it as well. Um, yeah. USB-C battery, easy flash card, all in transparent. What a beautiful design. And, and again, Addy Sneaker Freak picked all of these out because he wanted to go through and pick every single item that he wanted in his bespoke build. I've not peeled the cover off at the moment, but yeah, absolutely stunning. I can't wait to get this to him now. I'm gonna a couple of days and I'm gonna meet him on the weekend. Uh, rather than put this in the post, I think I'm gonna drive across the bridge, get out of Wales, go across to England, 
meet him in the arcade archive and the, the, the cave upstairs. Uh, we'll have a morning playing some games and I'll give him his Game Boy, see what he thinks of it. Um, hopefully he'll be chuffed with the, the quality and the finish on it. <laughs> Who knows? If he hates it, then maybe I'll edit that in too. But um, yeah, it's a it's a really nice bit of kit. If he doesn't want it, I'm keeping it for myself. Um, I think I've taken it as far as I want to. We could go gone down the old route of putting LEDs in there and things, but I think they put off the the, the gameplay a little bit, and I think they make it a little bit cheap. So I think just transparent and everything is quite classy. Um, let's get this across to him. I'll do a little bit of driving footage. I'll do some footage in the arcade archives in the cave, and I'll catch you in a bit. Cool. 